This is a quick video to show you how to set up the enrollment method for your Moodle course. Um, those of you who've had your courses transferred over the new Moodle, uh, you're probably going to notice that um, there's no student enrollment, that all of those things where um, where students would go to, to get a password to sign in uh, no longer work. To set this up, it's in a slightly different place. It used to be that you would go to the settings over here on the left hand side and the settings are where you set the enrollment method. But on in, in Moodle 2.3 you're going to use the uh, come down to users, um, open that up and you're going to click where it says enrollment methods. Now if Mike has already set this up for you um, and put your enrollment methods on here. You won't need to do this, but I'm going to assume he hasn't done that. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a method. So I'm going to come down here and go choose, and I'm going to click on self enrollment. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, now, once I've done that, um, I have a um, I have the place looks very similar to the place you set up the student enrollment before. I'm going to give it a name just really quickly. I'm just going to call it student enroll and um, I'm going to give it an, a quick password for um, enrollment and you can put whatever you want as your password. This is the password that students will use to enroll in your Moodle course. And only the students who know this password will be able to enroll. So I'm just going to put in a quick password and um, I'm going to leave that masked. Um, use group enrollment keys? No. Uh, default uh, assigned role students. That means when students enroll, they are students. Um, I don't want enrollment duration, probably start date, end date. You can set those if you want. Um, unenroll inactive after. And you can set it to enroll students, unenroll students after a certain number of days if you want. Uh, that way if you get students who've checked out of your class maybe after 90 days or 60 days or 30 days uh, it unenrolls them. Um, and then the maximum number of enrolled users um, most of you are probably going to have quite a few students um, in your class. I'm going to set this for mine for 200 and um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and add that uh, to my course. So I've now added that <coughs> enrollment method uh, to my course, and its name is Student Enroll. Now, if Mike set this up for you, uh, when you come here, you will already see the enrollment method. It will already be there for you. <coughs> and all you're going to do at that point is simply click on the Edit, which is this little hand over here. Click on that Edit, and you have all the same things. Uh, you'll set the name of it, give it an enrollment key, and put your settings the way that you want to do. And then remember, keep track of that enrollment key. You'll need to tell your students to use that the first time they click on your course and enroll in the class. Um, I hope this has been helpful for you setting up the self-enrollment on your new Moodle course.